I love that we're translating, and this is huge in our industry. We are translating the live event online and it translates so beautifully. Oh, well, Lynn Lynn. Lynn. What's up, Lynn? What's happening? Do you recognize me? Yes, I, I totally recognize you, but I like you better without a mask, quite honestly. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. I, we appreciate the wow maker because you do wow everybody. She just launches her audiences. And <laughs> Get ready for an awesome day, and I'm very excited to uh, share all this with you guys. Incredible. Holy crap. <laughs> all I have to say, Paul, is that was boom, mic drop. That was fantastic. <laughs> what you would say, just a simple step people can put in practice to start changing habits, like that little Ogmandino habit I just brought up. <laughs> We're bringing on. There it uh, is. What up, man? <laughs> hey, thank you. We rocked it again. So amazing. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. Lynn Rose, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Lynn, do you have a quick question for Mr. Dan Clark? I sure do. You are an example of someone who life throws you curve balls, but you don't let it curve you off purpose. Ah, uh, I mean, there's people who wait months, 10 months, a year to even get 15 minutes of his time so that we have this time with you right now, Nito. What an incredible honor. And I'm so grateful that you're with us. Thank you very much, Lynn. What a nice introduction from a dear friend. You know, they say the bigger the game you play, the bigger the problems you have to solve. Mm. It doesn't mean you should be stopped by playing a big game. You know, you got to be up for the task. But boy, with the big game that you play and what's happening, you've had so many big problems to either try to firsthand solve or be a part of solving you know, on the boards and things. I, th I think there's wisdom or value in you sharing how you approach that as you looked at this monumental monolith of a task that I believe you've crafted your brilliance out of experience and your attitude. Because from your past, what you had to be cleaning floors, you were working double time, you were learning, you didn't let things poison your mind, you stayed focused on the future, you stayed present, you worked hard, you learned, you grew, you didn't let things infect your attitude. And that's why you have had so much success and helped others with so much success. Wow. Uh, you guys taking notes right here and please put that in there. You can't have a to be list until you have a stop doing list. You have definitely helped so many people profit internally and externally and us right now. And by the way, if you have a question for Nito, feel free to put it in there so we can see if we bring that forward to Nito while we have uh, 10 more minutes with you, Nito. Wow. wow. And Brian Bander just wrote the quote, I graduated high school in 1989. I wish I would have known about you and all this personal development back then. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I would have known it too. Uh, and and uh, you guys, I love her. Entire <laughs> universe. Oh wow! <laughs> there you go. I'm getting off the speed then. See, I I was gonna say, Bob. I hope I get a chance to come on and connect with you because I, you know, the little things that we do and the impact it makes, and then how long it lasts and how it ripples outward. And I, I'm. I was just floored by how much you just wanted to be there to give and connect. I want to learn from someone who's really walked the path, but also teaches it and lives it. We are Launch You Now, <laughs> where leaders go to get launched. I'm going to lift the veil for you and take you behind the scenes and show you what we do for clients and what can be possible for you. When you're inside the jar, it's so hard to see the outside of the label. You Again, like we said, you might be great at that for other people. You can so see it so well, but when it comes to yourself and how you get more bookings out there, when you get to present yourself where you're the obvious choice. To me, this demonstrates right in front of your very eyes what it really means to be human, what it really means to rise above the fear and the lack and the disruption we have to go through until we find that next highest frequency and energy of who we are and who we're here to be and do. And what I call wow makers. My brand is wow and wow is an acronym for without walls. What's possible, we can dissolve those barriers to our connection, but where those walls have to come up and that they're walls, they're not really who we are. And when I can remind myself of that and return to that really deep place, no matter what's happening, nothing can touch the heart and soul of who I am or the heart and soul of who you are. 
how am I doing? How are you doing? Oh my God. I'm I gotta say that was amazing. What an incredible way to kick off the energy. And to, I mean, I got so much out of that. When you, every time you get to hear it and have your frequency raised, that was phenomenal. And it's just the beginning today. So thank yeah. you for all the hard work. I know how hard you've worked on putting this on and no, this rocking. Is I just put it together. I was like, yeah, sure. all good. How do we translate and get to do what we love to do and in inter interacting with everyone, raising up the energy and bringing on the people that we love. And that's what we get to do today together.